I had a response. I didn't want to stop your your, your momentum, but I think we love. You, you need the you need the jokers around the team. You need the like you you after you you're away from rugby. You're going, man. Like how how good how good is that? How good was that? So um, I think we've we've realised now what we what we had was pretty good, and what we have is is good. Um and um yeah, it's a, it's a testament to the to the people that that have chosen these guys to come across um, heels and and the coaches have done that whole team morale and and uh, dynamic. Awesome, awesome. And you brought it up. I'm, I'm just wondering, who do you guys think is the clone? Then I guess I'll leave it alone. If no, if everyone's going well, to be the to see that. No, I 100% see people still here. I'm about to get to. Let's see. We don't have any YouTube questions, do we? No, we do not. Um, I'm wondering, Devet, do you have a question for Coach? <laughs> Sorry, I'm on the next try. Wow. Usually usually they say if you stay with that trend for long enough, it comes back in, so you, you might be on the right track there, Hills. <laughs> there there you go. I would I wouldn't mind I would a different um um, I don't have to get any any well, like from Saber Cats. I'm going to sponsor us with some white, white shirts, I think. Yeah, happy to wear a white shirt with the collar up, mate. <laughs> 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 yeah, oh, man. <laughs> you guys are some fools. You guys are some fools. Um, uh, Let's see. Uh, Coach, you got something for Devet? How about that? Yeah. <laughs> Forward to 2021. Um, again, for all of us in the CDC. And a lot of other things. So we do not know anything about a twenty about the twenty twenty one schedule, except that we are expected to play in twenty twenty one. I know a lot of people are excited and a little anxious about it. So uh, I just wanted to let you guys know we are too. Um, but when you guys think about the next season, how are you guys thinking about it? It's business as usual, Drew. Obviously, you know, we, as you said, we're guided by the the health professionals. Mm-hmm. Look, as I said, the world as we know it's probably changed, and how are we going to? How's the dynamic going to look? I'm not too sure with people going to stadiums and things like that. So, um, you know, we might have to adjust to different things like that. But I think moving forward, I think sport is definitely relaxed, as I said, with drugs and vaccine, and the world gets back to some normality. But for us, as I said, with, as a coaching staff. Uh, we're moving. We're moving in this in the right direction, as if there's no change. Uh, we're looking at an end of November start pre-season, and um, uh, you know, doing our due diligence accordingly with with all the things that need to be need to be done. So things change. Well, then you're in a position. You're organised, and you're in a position to be flexible with whatever might happen. So. Um, that's how, that's how we're looking. Devet, uh, before you get to that, we actually have a Facebook question. Oh, well, first and foremost, Andy says, hey, Dad. <laughs> Coach Healy, Andy <laughs> says. your name um he has a question he is a scrum half how do you best motivate your forwards i know every player is different but you find that specific leadership works best with the pack he, he thanks you in advance of it um pick out pick out the biggest forward in your team at training and then ch- challenge him challenge him to a wrestle or a, or a, or a, um, a bit of a scrap as we would call it in australia beat him up because we can <laughs> And then the rest of them will have respect for you. How's that sound? Oh, prison rules. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Take out the biggest for it first. And <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh, no, it's, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite a, it's quite a um, specific and uh, well, it, it's, a, it's a bit of a difficult one to, to, to do, um, to master as well, because you've got to know the people that you're, that you're dealing with, the personalities that you're dealing with. Um, some people that don't, they don't like uh, for you to come come over, uh, across aggressively. Some people just want you to to tell them, hey, like pick your head up, let's go again. 
other people they they want to hit like you, they've absolutely not a good job you, you you rip into them and just give them a bit of spray and they'll get into second gear um but it's blurred out things that doesn't really relate to what, what they need to do um be specific um so name be specific what you want from them and um you've got to be loud and you've got to be how can i say you've got to be a, a, a not louder than, than the people around you if you want them to hear you and it, it yeah it sounds a bit strange but uh, you need to get through them, so just be specific in, in who you're talking to, specific what you want them to do, um, and then yeah, just that mission of quality really just comes naturally to me, um, and, and I've um, yeah, I've been, I've been really blessed with that that quality, and to respect them back for the for the position they play, um, the, the work they have with is a lot of hard work to um, just run beyond and distribute, um, so yeah, just be thankful for for what they do for you, and, and, and let them understand that, um, so it's a bit of a mutual respect for you for the sake. That's probably what I'll, I'll uh, suggest. Um, yeah, if you get a chance to, to beat up a bigger bloke than you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Christian, love that for the answer. Uh, Christian, I hope you like, continue your rugby journey and then keep going at it. Um, and it's, it, you're right, uh, Devet. It is one of those things. Leadership is just kind of one of those things it's hard to define. Coach Healy, how do you define a leader? I know you had um, a part of picking Devet as your captain. So when you looked at for me, Devet was, was was the outstanding candidate, and it was you know discussed discussed at length. But you know, as, as you said, he's he, he, someone who knows the game, someone who understands the game. Obviously, being a halfback, he's the conduit between the forwards and the back, so he's important. His position is very important for for the communication side of it, and obviously, he leads by example and uh, on and off the field. So. Um, there's some of the qualities, but also, too, he did get the biggest bloke in the team and beat him up, so that's put a boat ahead of everybody else. I actually want you to put a message on Facebook to my son to ask him why he's not at work or I hope he's at having smoker. <laughs> oh, yeah, he heard. He hears you. I want to see what he's going to say back. I'm going to see what he says back. Oh, man. Um, well, thank you guys so much for coming out and um, talking to us. Um, it's been It's been about an hour now. Um, if you guys on Facebook have any other questions, uh, please keep com- keep them coming. Um, we're trying to answer all. I want to I want to an- I want to answer Dan Power's question. True. Uh oh. Did you see his question he posted? Dan Powers, where did Dan Powers' question go? I still get mad. <laughs> why? I don't know why. Does I don't he think? Does he, think Dan Powers does, he, does he think because of the surname Power, he's got the power to ask those questions? Seriously. <laughs> But I'll answer. <laughs> I don't want to be any taller, Dan, because um, if the taller you are, the harder you fall, mate. Like I said earlier, um, you get the biggest bloke. Until- That's what God only makes perfect. There. So don't. So uh, he's I think I'm. Uh, I hope you stay safe here in Houston. Continue to work, guys. And hopefully we'll see him in, in next year. That's online. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been a bit of a background. Um, 